Hello guys, welcome back. There were some updates made on Bard from Google. One of the updates was the add images to your prompt. There were many new features being added. If you want to know all the updates, I have already created a video about it. You can refer to that. But in this video, I am going to cover top 9 use cases of Bard's new image recognition. Let's get started. You can just upload image into Google's Bard and ask it to explain you. I have first uploaded the image which contains the images of people. So at the moment, it can't help with the images of people, right? But then what I did was I upload the image of this robot and it explains me that the image shows a small orange robot with blue eyes and blue feet right it went through all the details of that particular image yeah you can just upload images into it and ask it to explain you what that particular image is about you can now just provide the image and bard will provide you the caption so if you want to upload some image into social media and if you are struggling with writing some captions what you can do is just upload the image and ask it to provide caption for that particular image and you can be good in prompting so you can just provide whatever you want it to generate here i am just asking it to keep under nine words and it provided me some of the informations so sailing away into the sunset alone boat on a vast ocean and some other different things and what i asked is to provide some funny captions right so it says here sure here are some of the funny captions just me and my boat out on the open sea something like that so the main idea here is you can just provide the particular image and ask it to provide the caption so that's the main goal here next use case can be to identify the image right so I have uploaded this picture where there are many books on top of each other. So what I asked it to do is identify how many books are there and provide the name of author and book in a table. Also provide the ISBN number of each book, right? So it went through it, but here, as you can see here, it just provided me six books in the image, but there are actually many books there. One good thing here is it finds the name of the author as well as the name of the book that's the good part and now it provided me in the google sheets so you can just export this that is one good use case right but one thing what i noticed is the isbn number is not correct what i did is i went to the isbn sorts and provided effective pandas and the author is harrison matt and the isbn number is this but it is different from what bard has provided here right so you can just play around with it but don't be 100% sure that this is correct. Another use case is that you can ask Google's Bard to help you cook food, right? What I did here is I just uploaded the image of this spaghetti and I said how do I cook this food, right? So it provided me step by step instructions on how do I create this particular food. This might be also a really good use case if you want to cook some good looking food that is being posted on social media or if your friends share some images of food you can just ask google bar to help you create that particular food this might be a really good use case if you are struggling why your vegetables or fruits are getting rotten right it there might be some viruses that are causing the food go bad right so what you can do is just take the picture of that particular fruit or vegetable and ask what is happening here right so here it says based on the information you have provided the brown spots on the tomato in the image are most likely caused by the florida tomato virus i was surprised how accurately it predicts this because i took this particular image from a blog post and here you can see there is this particular image and this is actually caused by the same virus. It's actually quite accurate how this is 
causing the issue and there is no cure for FTB but there are ways to prevent it to prevent this you can right so it provided you the instructions also how to prevent this particular viruses in your vegetables now let's say that you have an image and you want to convert that into a table with text similar to what we did in the image of the books what you can ask it it convert this image into a table with text right it converts that sure here is the image converted into a table with text so it provides the stage and then there is the description right and if you scroll a little bit down it just provides all the different things here and what i want is the number separated from this particular image right so i said okay can you create a new column and place the ears online where it is present right so there are some of the online ears present here right so it says see so here is the table with a new column that shows the ears that each stage of spiral dynamics has been online right so here is the stage here is the description and here is the ears online but what i noticed that if there is no ears what it is doing it, it is splitting the text into different chunks right so it is providing emerging now also as a ear here which is not true right because what it does is in the image on the last if you see here there is this different parts online 50,000 years and online 250,000 years but in some of those cases if you scroll up here it says there is no ears right it says emerging now so what it does is because it was splitting some of the text out of it it just provided that as a year so you need to be careful when extracting the images but it is doing quite a good work here separating different text out of the images and providing that into the table you can use google's bard in order to know what is happening in the images and in the graphs right so as you can see here i just take the random picture where there are some text as well as there is a chart right so i said here explain this image to me and here it says I can help you explain the image and the bar chart shows the number of men and women studying engineering at Australian universities and it goes on explain all the different things for me and it even extracted the information for me in the form of the table this might be really good use case for some of you who wants to know what is happening behind the graph right you can create different charts using bar what I asked here is top three market leaders in the sneaker industry by millions in market share right so what it does is sure here are the top three market leaders in sneaker industry by millions in market share as of 2023 it first provide the information in the form of google sheet right so that is what you will be also doing in order to create the chart right you need to have some kind of table right and then what it explains is all the different things what is nike what is adidas what is new balance and all the different things and that is one information that it extracted me right and then what i asked is can you plot a bar chart for me so here it says sure i can create a bar chart and shows me the code it does not create here automatically but what it does it it provides me the python code to create the bar chart so what you can do is just go to this icon here which is share and export and you can just open this in the collab i can just go to the collab it is creating a notebook i can open it right so let's check if it works or not now yeah it is here i can just run this particular piece of code right if i run this for running you can just type shift enter in the keyboard what it is going to do is import the matplotlib and numpy right yeah as you can see here this is the bar chart that is created and the code is provided by google's bar you can now sort images directly on the google's bar what i asked here is show me nine pictures of sunset right so it grabs nine different pictures of sunset and then it explains all the different sunset meaning that it provides the sample caption right a sunset over the ocean with the sky ablaze with color right and then it also provides all the different captions for me and if you want more captions what i asked here is provide caption for the first one right so it says here here are some captions for the first picture right it provides many captions and as we went through in our earlier use case you can ask or you can have the personalized prompt for that particular image and have good 
captions and then you can post wherever you want okay there you go we just went through nine different use cases of google's bard in the field of image recognition there might be many different use cases but yeah i, I hope these nine use cases were helpful for you yeah that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one